Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday the 3rd of March. I wonder how you're doing today. There are some days on there when our hearts just overflow with praise and gratitude. And there are those other days when we cry out to God and say, just put a new song in our hearts. But as we come into his presence this evening, I'm just going to read the first two verses from Psalm 91, which is our psalm for this evening. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. And as we come into his presence this evening, let's, let's dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. So, our readings for today are Psalm 91, and we will be reading from Hebrews chapter 2. So if you want to join me in the daily prayer book, we are on page 244. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. So we'll turn to our psalm for this evening, which is Psalm 91, and can be found on page 785 at the back of the daily prayer book. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold, there shall no evil happen to you. Neither shall any plague come near your tent, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. And as you have bound us to yourself in love, leave us not who call upon your name, but grant us your salvation, made known in the cross of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we turn to 
our New Testament reading, which is taken from Hebrews chapter 2. And we will be reading from verse 10 to the end of that chapter. And if you're in the church Bibles, we're on page 216. Hebrews chapter 2, starting at verse 10. It was fitting that God for whom and through whom all things exist in bringing many children to glory should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one father. For this reason, Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Since therefore the children share flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested by what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. What reassuring words here in this chapter, that God chose to perfect Jesus through his suffering and the fact that we have a savior who knows what it is to suffer. Because of that, he knows what we go through and he chooses to call us his family. And you know, when it talks about the fact that he, he came to, to help and to save the descendants of Abraham, that's you and me as well. We are the descendants of, of Abraham. And Jesus is the merciful and faithful high priest. And in this season of Lent, as we meditate on the cross, it is his cross and resurrection that, that tore the veil that made this access to God the Father possible. And through him, we know, we know the atonement of sins. Through him, we know salvation. Through him, we know the promise of eternal life. Let's respond to that as we join in the responsory on page 247. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O God, be not far from me, O my God. And for our gospel canticle this evening, let's join in a song of praise, which can be found on page 627. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise forever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O oh God, and are worthy of our praise forever. So we turn now to a time of prayer and intercession. And as we continue to 
read the budget updates. The theme for prayer for the nation today is businesses, the workplace and economic well-being, and we'll continue to pray into that space. And as we remember people in our community, let's continue to pray for Peter Coney. Let's pray for Sheila, John and Jack. And let's also pray for Emanuela's father, Virgil, and for Emanuela and Gigi as they, they care for him. And we will continue to hold Eileen Daly's family in prayer, as well as Tracy Beale's family. Tracy lost her uncle last week. So let's pray. Father, we thank you that regardless of what we have got going on in our lives and in our day, we can pause in your presence. We can rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And Father, even before we, we get down to all the things we want to pour before your throne, Father, I pray that you will create for us spaces in our day, spaces in each and every day where we can where we can rest in your presence, where we can rest in your shadow, Father, where we will know your, your arms, your feathers covering us, oh, Father. I pray that you will, you will bless us with moments like those, where we will learn to let go and just be refreshed and restored by you. And Father, we thank you that we can access your throne of grace and mercy, that we can ask for your protection from the deadly pestilence. And Father, we offer you all of our fears this evening, all of our doubts, all of our anxieties. Father, we thank you that, that you are able to look after everything that we entrust to you. And Father, as we continue to pray for, for our world and our nation, Father, we pray that you will create spaces that will be like oases, oh Father, for people to, to be restored, for people to reach out and help each other, for people to know comfort and peace and hope and joy. Father, we, we ask for an outpouring of your spirit upon this world. And Father, as we continue to pray for our nation, we thank you for the budget that is being, that is being finalized. And Father, we want to thank you that the furlough scheme has been extended. Father, we pray with all of the considerations that need to be made. We ask for wisdom. We ask for wisdom in the decisions. We ask for wisdom with the implementation. And Father, we pray that, that it will be, it will meet the needs of Father, especially the needs of those who, um, who, are, who are the worst hit, Father, by this. So we continue to pray for, for businesses, for the workplace, for economic well-being. Father, we pray that people will be able to put food on the table for their families this evening. And Father, I pray that you will continue to make us mindful of, of others so that we would be able to, to work out the spaces that we need to step into. Father, pray for our community and Father, we pray for, for all of us you have placed in this community that we will be mindful of Father, that we will stand in the gap of the people that you have placed in our lives. Father, and as we continue to pray for those who are unwell, we bring to you, O oh Father, Peter Coney, Sheila, John, and Jack. And Father, we remember Emanuela's father, Virgil, and all of the others we know. Father, we thank you that you are healer. Father, we thank you that it is by your stripes we are healed. And Father, we ask, we ask that you will lay your hand upon them, O oh Father, and that you will restore them to, to health. Father, we continue to pray for healing of, 
of mind, oh Father. Father, it's so hard in these days to, um, to, to keep going and to stay positive. Father, we pray for mental health and well-being for, for all of us. And Father, we pray that you will keep our minds fixed on you. That we will continue to count our blessings. And that we will continue to seek out moments of joy. And Father, yes, that we will praise you. Praise doesn't depend on the circumstances we're in, oh Father. But praise so that we acknowledge your Lordship in our lives. Father, and we want to continue to commit to you the families of Eileen Daly and Tracy Beale's family, oh Father, as, as they mourn the loss of Eileen and Tracy's uncle. Father, we, we ask for your peace that passes all understanding. And Father, at this time, we want to bring to you everything else that's on our hearts and minds. Father, we want to lay it all down in the shadow of the Almighty. And Father, we pray that we will know your spirit enveloping us this evening. Hear our prayer, for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's continue to worship with our hymn, which is called Blessed Assurance. And as we sing, that we will declare that this is our story. This is our song. We will continue to praise him because he holds our every tomorrow. So, so let's sing. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heirs of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washing his blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture, now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior. All the day long, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all oh, is at rest, I am my Savior, then I be and blessed. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior. Oh, 
And let's join in our collect for this evening, which can be found on page 249. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for joining me this evening. And we have another opportunity to get together at 6.30 when we join in with the Stations of the Cross. And what a privilege it is to, to journey the way of the cross together as a community. And I pray God's blessings upon you this evening, that you will know what it is to rest in the shadow of the Almighty. God bless you.